All right, folks, happy hump day. Uh, it's June 10th, um, obviously a Wednesday. It's about 5 p.m. I'm all done with the evening chores. I started them up a little bit early here this evening. We've got rain coming in no time at all. Uh, and we've got about eight hours of it coming. Hopefully uh, hopefully not a damaging one. Now the truth of the matter is we got our, uh, we got our drink of water last night too. Uh, I failed emptied out my rain gauge so I couldn't tell you exactly but I'm hearing good rumors that it was about an inch and boy did we need it and boy did the ground soak it up um, it was fantastic now it was fine here but last night's storm was remnants of that uh, tropical storm whatever the hell the name is I've kind of been living under a stump here lately uh, watching the news these days or social media news outlets is just uh i don't really have the tolerance for it right now so anyway uh there's parts around here especially uh uh east of me by 15 miles which is where the uh, uh lake shore is of lake michigan they actually had a uh, uh some cases of some small flooding and uh they're calling it a uh, like a lake hurricane uh, there's a lot of people that are missing their boat, boat docks right now. And uh, anyway, the damaging part of it, we didn't get, thank God. We do have a little bit of hay down. Um, down, you know, from the wind and rain, from the storm. That's not exactly the end of the world. It also means that you have a nice, thick, healthy crop that's ready to be harvested. That's my uh, positivity. But uh, here we are at the sorghum field. It has basically, I'm going to say it's doubled in the last 48 hours. And uh, we obviously have a long way to go, but she's a beautiful sight. <clears throat> now let's just keep in mind those corn stalk rows. I took a healthy look at it. You can't see it from the stupid phone. But I can tell you that there are actually, uh, you know, there's some corn stalk rows right here. There is some sorghum growing up in those rows. So it's a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, and, of course, you see a, a bare blotch that. There, that. That's nothing but a big rock. But there's there's sorghum that's going to, that's growing up in there. Oh, uh, we're getting a little corporate these days. <laughs> it's all about having a little fun. Uh, goes without saying, this is Alpharex Seeds, part of Dow AgriScience, and this is the Forge King variety. There is four bags. You know, it dawned on me, I had that little uh, planting sorghum 2020 little series going on. The planting video never got uploaded, and I took it. I can't find it. I don't know must have accidentally erased it but long story short i was making that video while i was in the middle section and i ended up i, I ran short story of my life and i ended up having to uh, go get four bags of the alpharex sweet king um, in the middle <coughs> so yeah that's all right a lot of people perfect out there. I ain't one of them. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Very happy with what I'm seeing. As long as we don't get any kind of a deep freeze or a frost, which you never by God know up here. If we do, phew, you ain't going to see me for a while. This was a little bit of a gamble. I put this in early about a week and a half almost two weeks earlier than is what is proposed up here where we live uh, different climates folks and uh, it was a gamble I was willing to take it was pretty safe you know with the weather outlook and the pattern we were having and uh, so far she's a winner so this is good this is just shy of 20 acres this is my primary, and actually I should say my only, sorghum. 
this year. This is where we started off sorghum here uh, two years ago. Obviously last year it went into corn and uh, we're back into sorghum. Couldn't tell you what I'm going to do with this field next year. I, uh, I'm not thinking that far ahead here these days. But yeah, yeah, she's uh, she's doubled in the last 48 hours. Truth of the matter is, we don't need another drink of rain here tonight, but you can't stop it. We'll just see what happens, as long as it's not too damaging. We'll see. I got the group of greedy, dirty pigs over here. They are on paddock number five. And I tell you what, these paddock systems are starting to kind of overgrow, <clears throat> which is a good problem to have. But, uh, the next few paddocks we're looking to split up in quarters. No joke. It's uh, it's really exploded. Now tomorrow, quite simply, tomorrow morning, that partition, a uh, little portable fence will be taken down and just removed. They'll simply get this last third. <coughs> New heifer calf this morning come out of a heifer which is real nice when that happens no complications it's kind of a testament big pat on the back whenever you have a heifer heifer calf for the first time um, you know you put a lot of time and effort and <laughs> money into either keeping them back or whether they were purchased and, uh, you know, heifers can be real tricky for the most part. But, uh, yeah, it was well AI bred with a uh, Cavanese. And uh, it goes to show it, too. So pretty happy about that. New calf this morning. It's always a good day. Good start of the day, anyway. And we got a handful more to go here, folks. But I can assure you, any calves dropping from here on out are going to be bull sired. This farm's bull sired. Well, I'll let the cat out of the bag. Stay tuned for a video. Probably Saturday evening, if not Saturday evening, Sunday morning sometime. Uh, I'm going to drop some hay. <laughs> Actually, it's right over here. We'll talk about it. Uh, we're going to call it a good test run is what this is going to be. I argued the fact a little bit. But... Uh, Let's pull up a little bit. this small little field here we're gonna drop this on Saturday dad wants to do a and I agree the problem is I'm not gonna be here I'm gonna be here I'm, I'm gonna drop it myself on Saturday but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be here for the bailing which is probably gonna take place on Tuesday you know we're not there there yet for that God Almighty dry down <clears throat> of hay so it's probably going to be bailed Tuesday <clears throat> I'm not going to be here for it it's uh it's, it's already making me sick first hay of the year but uh 
you know, dad's the small, he's the small square bale king. He knows the baler inside and out. Of course, I, I acquired and purchased that with the farm sale, but it, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, he, uh, he wants to do a true test of the, the square baler because you know, there's, there's a big year coming and uh, this smaller field is appropriate to do so. Good for a good test. And uh, we'll see what we get off of here. I don't know. There's a lot of people that can use hay right now too. <laughs> I'm one of them. So it's all gonna go into squares, um, obviously. But uh, yeah, we're gonna drop this uh, Saturday after the dew. Uh, according to these days, that that might not be till about 11 o'clock in the morning. And, um, yeah, let her sit. Perfect world is bailed up on Tuesday, like I've said four times now. So, yeah, the beginning's here. Uh, hay tool maintenance is going uh, very good. That's what was, that was today's plate. Uh, four out of the six uh, kicker racks are all serviced, greased, tires aired up. Um, everything else, checking all the nooks and crannies and everything, you know, whatever. Uh, I did both hay rakes today. Um, same thing, everything greased, all gearboxes opened, anything that's got a gearbox. I did have to add a little, um, actually a half a bottle to the, uh, to the rotary rake, but, uh, you know, not a big deal, but I had to add some. <coughs> um, tomorrow... I do it tonight, but we're about to get rain, and tomorrow's kind of a rain day. Tomorrow I'm going to service the MoCo and probably start uh, peeking into the uh, small square baler. And I need to continue messing around with my round baler. I got the monitor all set up the other night and uh, turned on. I even, you know, flipped on the PTO and everything else, and it's just my process of starting to learn it. But I got a long ways to go. I need to spend... Uh, Spend some evenings with it and uh, kind of get ready for the big dance, you know. But uh, you're always ready for it, but you're just not ever really ready, <laughs> you know. If that makes any sense. But yeah, that nice lime green is that. That's a beautiful sight right there. <clears throat> so anyway, just checking in, folks. Part of the crop tour. Uh, we'll do another one uh, on the next day or two. I'll show you the corn and then uh, the new seeding. The new seeding is, uh, has exploded. That, uh, that big field that I put in real late, very happy with it. Let's just, uh, let's just do one of these here for no damaging rain coming tonight. I don't need that. So, folks, we're going to talk to you sooner and later.